everybody. It's the Bishop here again to give you a Lent message. First of all, I've managed to get a hold of a Dyson cleaner, carpet cleaner. I intend to use this to clean up the carpet we have in the church. The church carpet goes back 2,000 years to the crucifixion. And we've been sweeping so much stuff underneath it, it's becoming a health hazard. And we've been told we've got to clean it up and get rid of the stuff so it's much safer for people to walk on. So, up and down, 2,000 year old carpet, we're looking for volunteers. Any volunteers would be gratefully looked upon and given my blessing. A lot of things have been said about the way the church is going lately, the complaints about the scam marriages and stuff like that. Well, I think people have got this is actually wrong because I'm an old romantic and I believe a couple can see each other and in the now know they have to get married because they love each other so much. And, and quite often, a number of my clergy have, have seen this in couples from Nigeria and uh, Pakistan and Estonia, wherever they call it, and Lithuania and Romania and other wonderful places. And they come together and they've seen each other. And love at first sight, as I call it, and um, they want to get married. And it also has the added bit advantage that they can stay in this country. A lot of my cler clergy have been doing the service, and I think it's admirable. And especially is the fact that you know the money they earn goes towards their pension. You know, some of them are getting at least fifteen hundred pound a, a hit, of which I get a little share, which I'm more than anxious to forget. I also like to thank you for all the love offerings you've been sending me. I have been able to use this to purchase a flying cathedral. Now this flying cathedral has been more than useful to me in getting about. Because living on this mountaintop retreat centre, you know, life gets very lonely at times. I must admit, on our, my first inaugural flight in this wonderful flying cathedral, I had a slight problem. I was going to go down to Butlins at Skegness for the, uh, what they call spring harvest and I was going to spray them with holy water but the problem was Cat Weasel the Druid, the, the current Archbishop of Canterbury, he turned round and said I could have some hot air from the local General Synod. The hot air turned up and I pumped it in and stuff like that and I got up and I was flying down there and all, all the brimstone and sulphur in this hot air what it the seams and I crash landed on the A52 just half a mile short of Butlins. It was highly embarrassing but I've now got the thing going again and I'm now going all over the country waving at people, giving them a blessing from on high. It's, it's a wonderful experience. I, 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 you know, I must say this is very enlightening. Um, you know, we've got another problem with the marriages in the church. They're going on about these gay marriages. And I just found that's another thing I, I can't understand. For years now, gay clergy have been living in the vicarages as their partners. And I think it's only right that these, these people should be given the opportunity to get married. You know, they've been there in their, in their little homes, in their vicarages, living 10, 15 years, quite happy buggering each other or whatever it is they get up to and they should be given the opportunity to make it all legal and you know one of the things that does annoy me with my colleagues they keep saying that we should open it up you know make the church for everybody you know society has changed so that the church must change I agree with that but we're not going fast enough we, could, we should be ahead of society in their changes. And we should really do whatever we can to make life easier for people to come to the church. You know, they don't have to repent. Just give money. I, you know, I could really do with some more money, you know, because it's, you know, I, I do need it. My, my ministry team, you know, they go around healing people. Not very well, I must say. But... You know, they babble away in tongues and uh, the people fall backwards after they've been pushed. Um, 
but you know, it's, it's, it's all part of. Oh look, this is blowing about here. You know, I had this trouble living on a mountain top. The uh, yes, it's uh, it's it, it doesn't help much, you know, living up here. But it's it's quiet, it's secluded, and I'll get a warning if the police are coming. So anyway, main thing to remember is that. Um, I don't know who this is, but I'm going back in here. Good. A lot of people think dressing up as a bishop is, a f is offensive and stuff like that. What we need to understand and accept that a lot of the things that we do in church and other places is offensive to God. Anybody can be a bishop, anybody can be a clergy. If, you, if you're that desperate, get on the internet, $35, you can, you can become a, a reverend. The only thing one has to remember, you know, they, they all like the white reverend and stuff like that. But the only person reverent in our life is Christ, not man. If man want to be reverent? That's sheer hypocrisy. What else can I say? You're going to have to wait till I do my own messages. In the meantime, have a nice day. See what the old git's up to. That's not nice, is it?